Hi, this is a second video in a series of videos showing you how we can deploy a spine and leaf configuration running OSPF using NetEdit on CX switches. To this point, we've already configured the spine fabric, and in this plan, we're actually going to configure the VSX configuration on all of the leaf switches in the data center. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll jump into NetEdit and choose only the leaf switches that I'm interested in. I'll edit the running configuration. And I'll actually create a name, Day1 Leaf VSX. So this, of course, is the configuration that the Mobile CX app gives us. Let's go ahead and start this VSX configuration by configuring the actual interfaces. So in this example, I'm going to be configuring the Keep Alive interface. So this is a directly connected Keep Alive interface. It'll be a routed, in, routed port. Um, and then, of course, the next interface I'll create will be the actual ISL link. Now, in this case, I'm using a single ISL link and a single direct Keep Alive link. Recommendations would be to use actually multiple links for the ISL link and to use a link aggregation group. But the configuration is exactly the same. The link aggregation group, of course, gives us more redundancy on that ISL link. Uh, I'll apply the no shutdown, the no route routing. I'm going to tell it which native VLAN is. I'm going to tag it, and then of course allow the other VLANs. So now let's go ahead and modify these Keep Alive IP addresses. So now all the IP addresses are set properly. And of course that 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 changes to a variable within NetEdit now. Now let's go ahead and get the uh, VSX configuration added. So I'll type VSX. We'll tell VSX which link is the actual ISL link. Um, we'll create the primary secondary role parameter. And then, of course, the keep alive command. So we want to ensure that VSX knows where to look and for the keep alive peering. And of course, once that's typed, all we have to do is change the variables that we need. So start off with by choosing the uh, primary and secondary switches. And then, of course, modifying that keer, uh, Keep Alive Peer setting. And then we have the source that we also can't forget. So let's modify that source so the source is correct. Okay, so that's the VSX configuration. Let's go ahead and click Validate, make sure this will work. Looks like everything's good, so we'll return to the plan, go ahead and deploy this out to all of my racks. And of course, once this deployment is over, it gives us the uh, change validation options. We'll jump in there and take a look at the change validation screens. So we can see on the left, the show interface brief has changed. So what's changed here, of course, ports 47 and 48 should be up. If we want to look at the uh, show VSX status, we can see that VSX is in sync, operational, and the peer is reachable. So we're looking good. 
and we'll go ahead and commit it to the running configuration and then of course move on to the next plan in the next video.